Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pin, and this is our snack for the journey. And we are in the Second Chronicles, a beautiful, beautiful book. I'd like to encourage you to, to read this book. It is a beautiful book with a lot of lessons, a lot of lessons. And it's interesting because the, the, this book will focus, emphasize more the Judah kings than the, the Israel uh, kings and it's uh, it's uh, one king after the other and it's uh, it's very interesting because they all faced troubles and difficulties and most of the time they will those narrations will emphasize those situations situations that could change everything so sometimes they will mention a king and, and will tell just one story of that king but it is that story that will define the king, the character, his kingdom. And, and it's, uh, today we're going to see another king, the, the chapter 14, verse 11. Chapter 14, verse 11. Look what the, what the, the, the verse says. Then Asa called to the Lord his God and said, Lord, there is no one like you to help the powerless against the mighty. Help us, O Lord our God, for we relied on you and in your name. We have come against this vast army. O Lord, you are our God. Do not let man prevail against you. It's interesting because uh, the, the last video we, we, we saw about the king against Israel. This video is... Uh, it, it's, uh, the, this king faced another, another uh, uh, kingdom coming against him. The Zera, the Cushite, came against him. And, uh, and it's a powerful, powerful army. And it's interesting because those kings are they're young, they're starting, all that kind of thing. And then this army comes and says, hey, we're going to... That is the opportunity that we have. We're going to win that and we're going to be rich because Jerusalem, can you imagine the descendants of Solomon, all the richness that they have. And, uh, and, uh, and they came, they came against Asa. And Asa was a good king and he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. And, and here in this prayer here, he opened his heart to the Lord and said, Lord, have mercy. There is no one like you to help the powerless. He confessed his situation. Sometimes we, we, need to, we need to make this kind of prayer. You know, he's a king. He could be proud and, and talk to the Lord in a different way, but he's a humble man. And he recognized that he is powerless against this army. And the Lord is great. The Lord is mighty. The Lord is the one that can save them. And He is the one that will take care of His enemies. And this is what He's asked the Lord. You are our God. Don't let men prevail against you. They were fighting as a because of the Lord was a religious war and say lord it's it's about you how many times we face religious war here and it's and we are powerless because we don't have how to fight the system the system is way beyond our ability and possibility and power we cannot overcome with our own strength. It is this time that we need to recognize that we are powerless and the Lord will fight for us. And it's a vast army against us and the Lord will fight for us. And this is what you need to learn. The Lord will fight for you. The Lord is with you in your struggles, in your fights. 
when you face opposition, the Lord is with you. No matter how big the opposition is, how vast the army is, the Lord is with you. And they won. And the Lord struck down the Cushites. That's what the next verse says. Struck down. The Lord is the one that can win our victories. We cannot. We're powerless. We need to be humble, recognize that, and pray. Pray to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.